I am a first year teacher and I uh, started the Gay Straight Alliance here at the school. Another teacher at the school, Miss Pamela, knew uh, Miss Irvin and said that she would possibly be interested in coming and talk to the middle schoolers. And I just thought it would be a really great opportunity for them and got in contact. 66% of people uh, who have met a transgender person or at least know of a transgender person say that they support equal rights for transgender people. And I think that that number is only going to continue to go up as it gets more exposure. And I believe really strongly that we need these kids to be our leaders. And so it's really important for them to be exposed to new ideas and make up their own minds about what they think is fair and what they think is right. Hi everyone, I'm Brian Sacraponte with Cal TV Entertainment, and today I'm joined by Erica Irvin, uh, also known as Amazon Eve. Yes. Uh, most recently featured in American Horror Story Freak Show. It's, it's exciting. It's very nice to meet you. Oh, thank you. And it wasn't until fairly recently that that you kind of came out publicly and did um, come out as transgender. Uh, was there like a moment or an experience that that sort of moved you to do that? In 2007, I wrote an article mm -hmm. where. Our first line of that article is, I'm a transsexual woman. Mm -hmm. Technically, I would think that is my... That's your... That's my coming out. Yeah. But we're talking about the coming out party? Well, that was American Horror Story. Yeah. Freak show. <laughs> oh, I was living somewhat in stealth, and I was using Amazon Eve as my alias name, and I didn't want to come out. I was mm -hmm. a little afraid. An event happened in 2012, which made me decide that I think oh, now is the time. Mm. Right, after, right after Hemlock Grove. That's when I decided the next project, I'm going to make a coming out of it. For my part, originally, it was written for a man, so I auditioned as a male. I nailed it, and uh, they googled who I was and said, oh, Amazon Eve, that's even better. Let's use Amazon Eve. So, um, Ryan Murphy has given me the opportunity of a lifetime to tell this story. American Horror Story is one of my favorite shows, in part mm -hmm. because of the, the way it tackles social issues. It tackles mm -hmm. gender and sexuality and race and, and disability even, and just the idea of otherness. What was that like for you to, to be working on this show with Ryan Murphy, tackling these issues at the same time, and just what was your experience like doing that? I felt better because everyone on set knew who I was, mm -hmm. knew I was transgender, so I didn't have to feel odd right. about saying that, and they were very accepting and very loving people. This is like an extended family to me. Sure. Got to work with Ryan Murphy because he directed the first episode, mm -hmm. and there's an opening, there's a scene where, where after we kill the detective, mm -hmm. that I carry him. I was originally going to be carrying a, you know, a box, obviously not carrying him. I said, let me get my freak on. What there do you, you mean, go. let me carry the detective? You can do that. He's a 250-pound <laughs> man. Yeah, I can do it. You see a lot of cases in which a straight actor will play uh, a character who's gay, lesbian, trans, you know, things of that nature. And oftentimes it'll be received with critical acclaim, but occasionally you'll hear some backlash from the LGBTQ communities um, as to why didn't that role go to someone that is LGBTQ in, in real life? And what, what is your take on that type of situation? We're challenged to represent. And I always say, make your dollars invisible as they make you, but we're such a small group. How do you get to see us out there? Mm -hmm. Well, it starts with other people playing us. It's part of that understanding. So is this what it's like to be you? Let me put this on. It's just about being human. Yeah. All right? I play, I've played um, straight cisgender females. All right. So shouldn't that role have gone to a six foot eight woman? <laughs> Very hard to find. We have um, a challenge right now trying to reach people who are isolated. And I'm curious, how do we, how do, we do that? This is a conversation I want to begin now. And does everybody here have someone to check in with? A parent, a teacher? Does everybody have someone to check in with? I want to see more hero characters, transgender hero characters on TV. I want to be able to speak to the kids listening. Right. It's really important to get the message that there is light at the end of this tunnel. Mm -hmm. and that there are other things, choices you can make than taking your life. Then I never thought of myself as pretty or beautiful or even valued because these messages, these bullying messages, said that you're no good, you're not going to amount to much, you're mentally ill. These are old ideas. Wipe those away. Call it makeup. Okay, go. Okay. I'm Brian Sacraponte, and you're watching Cal TV. Was that good? That was good. That was good. Yes. <laughs>